My mister narrates stories of characters who are living the weight of life realities. With its deep mood and pragmatic narrative, it resonates the messages about living life to the fullest. Narrated in the perspective of a young woman who has long given up on the miserable life she had to live, the story portrays how she opens up to the first adult who showed her genuine care. It was hard for her to accept it at first, but eventually it encourages her to strive for the most common dream a typical person has, to be happy. Just like her character, all of us need help and support in our lives. But why do we find it hard to ask for or to accept support? Stigma, shame, feeling of being undeserving have been a touch to us asking for support. But they shouldn't be. The more we can all share about what help we need, when, why, and talk more openly about this, the better. Also, if you have a low opinion of ourselves and feel that we don't deserve help and support, this can be the biggest barrier to us. As we focus on our recovery, we may all start to realize that we need help. Help from life events, from trauma, from loss, and from exhaustion. Because the first step to recovery for all of us is to recognize our needs, ask for, and accept support. Listen Kuhn, who portrayed the role of a manager that got entangled with the company's power play, is given jabs of life setbacks. Amidst his personal heartaches and temptations, he still manages to generously give pieces of his strength to people who need it while always doing the right thing. His character lets me realize that everyone has personal values. Everyone has rules, guidelines, or beliefs that lead their life. And so identifying our values and taking committed action towards our values, even if it's uncomfortable or difficult, is how we live a life of meaning and fulfillment. And knowing our values is important because it helps us make decisions, take action, and focus on moving towards the life we want to live and we're proud of. So take some time to think about what is important to you. What do you value? Does your current life reflect your values? The Park Brothers delights us with their incomparable sibling attachment, while Jian's love for her grandmother have kept her going in life. Both relationships sketch how having a family or even bond relations can give encouragement in dealing with disheartening setbacks. This is what collective joy and pain is all about. They are so deeply human that they cut through our differences. And it means that we also have to be brave. We have to be vulnerable. We have to show up and put ourselves out there because only through shared emotions and experiences, life becomes meaningful. <laughs>